All right, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to solve for x using cosine, tang, tangent, and sine. So I'm going to tell you when to use each um, trig function and how to use them as well. So let's start with cosine. So cosine, if you have a given angle measure in a right triangle and you have at either the hypotenuse or the adjacent side to the given angle, you use cosine to find x. So in this situation here at the right, we have um, our given side length is the hypotenuse and our x side length is um, the adjacent side. So we're gonna use cosine. Now what we do is we set up a, um, set up a proportion. So we start with cosine of 18 over 1 equals now for cosine it's adjacent over hypotenuse all right so our adjacent value is right here x x over hypotenuse 8 okay so x over 8 and now we just solve for x. So we have to get 8 out of the denominator. So multiply by 8, multiply by 8. So x equals 8 times cosine of 18. Now on your calculator, before you do this, make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. If it's in radians, you won't get the correct answer. Make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. Um, but anyways, to solve, just press cosine of 18 times 8 and that will be your x value 7 I got 7.608 that is our x value right there so this side right here equals 7.608 all right now moving on to sine sine is essentially the opposite so you're going to use sine when your given is either the hypotenuse, which is right here. So the hypotenuse is our given, or your given is the opposite from the angle right here, the given angle. And in this situation, our x value is the opposite. And we have the hypotenuse, so we're going to use sine. So it's the same exact way to solve. So let's set it up. So the proportion is sine of 41 over 1 equals, now sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and our opposite is right here, so we're going to put x over hypotenuse 12. Same thing as the other problem, multiply by 12, multiply by 12. So to solve for x, you're going to get 12 times the sine 41. Now plug it into your calculator. 12 times sine of 41. I got 7.873. So this, so x equals 7.873. That is our answer for this sine problem. All right. Now moving on to the final trig function is tan. Now you're gonna use tangent when your hypotenuse is not x or given, but your x and given are the opposite. Don't know why I did that. Your x and given are the opposite and the adjacent. So our given here is the adjacent, our opposite is our x value. So now we're gonna set it up as a proportion, tan of 29 over one, equals now tan is opposite over adjacent so our x is our opposite and our adjacent is 10 so x over 10 and solve the same way now none of these problems had the x in the denominator but all you would do if x was in the denominator is you would take this number and divide by tan but that's not our situation here so our situation just to solve for x we would have 10 of 29 times 10. 10 of 29 times 10 
x equals 5.543. 5.543. So that is how to solve for x using tan, sine, and cosine.